you can set the scene a bit of a timeline in Trotsky's childhood. Yes, well, Trotsky had an unusual childhood for a, a Jew in the Russian Empire at that time. He was actually born and raised in southern Russia, not in the Pale of Settlement. And his father was a very successful farmer who had a mill, he had a brick factory, he had thousands of acres of land under cultivation, and he lived in a part of uh, Ukraine where there were Jewish colonies that had been set up by the Tsarist regime in order to, to entice Jews out of their ghettos and try to assimilate them, really integrate them more into Russian society. That was the Tsar's intent. So he was raised among these Jewish colonies. Secondly, Trotsky claims that his parents did not know Yiddish. Now, this may or may not be true, but we do believe that as many as 97% of Russian Jews at that time in the empire spoke, Russia, spoke Yiddish as their mother tongue. And only about 25% spoke and, and used Russian with any degree of fluency. So Trotsky was actually sent to a cheder, to a traditional Jewish school for young children. And he only stayed three months. In his memoir, he says, because he didn't know Yiddish, he couldn't participate in the lessons. And so it was a failed experiment. And then later, apparently, he admitted in his memoir that his father encouraged him to take lessons in Jewish history and Bible, we think, to prepare him for his bar mitzvah. But again, that didn't work. And he never had the bar mitzvah, and the lessons didn't lead anywhere. The fact is that Trotsky had uh, claims, I think it's true, had no emotional connection to the Jewish people, to Judaism, to Jewish ritual, to language. He was extremely assimilated, driven by his really fanatical belief in revolution, that being a Marxist revolu a revolutionary was his primary identification. But I want to emphasize, since you read the book, you understand, Trotsky had a visceral reaction to physical attacks on Jews. He hated pogroms. He hated physical, violent anti-Semitism, and he always reacted to that. And there were times in his life when he, after all, he was alive when Hitler came to power. He was alive when, so, when Nazi Germany and then the Soviet Union invaded Poland. He was aware of the initial violence associated with what we now know as the Holocaust, and he was appalled by it and responded to the threat of Hitler, I feel, as much as being a Jew as being a communist and a Marxist.